Hi, I'm Dr. Aaron Black, college business professor, successful entrepreneur, and an introvert. I research and teach on the topics of management and entrepreneurship, and I have started and run several businesses, some of them making six figures. I run those businesses out of my home. Now, if you're watching this, you're probably an introvert, and you're wondering, what does that mean as far as being an entrepreneur? Well, I've got good news. Introverts make great entrepreneurs. But first, there's a few things you might want to consider as an introvert entrepreneur. First, we should say that introversion is a personality trait, and while these traits are stable over time, they are malleable. Research indicates that traits are about 50% the result of genetics and about 50% the result of the environment. This is based upon a meta-analysis of the heritability of human traits that looked at 50 years worth of twin studies. So personality traits are not chains, they're rubber bands. In the future, you will still be an introvert, but you may be more or less introverted based upon whether or not you feed your introverted or extroverted characteristics. Now, we know that in general, introverts make less money than extroverts. We think that it's a combination of the fact that extroverts tend to attract more attention and are thus more likely to be promoted, but also because introverts self-select out of higher paying roles which tend to require extroversion in favor of jobs which better match the sensibilities of introverts. So what does this have to do with entrepreneurship? Well, as an introvert, you're probably looking for a way to make more money. Starting your own business or having a side hustle seems to be an attractive option. The, re the research on whether introverts or extroverts make better entrepreneurs is mixed. There's no consensus on this in the scientific community. Some studies suggest extroverts make better entrepreneurs because as an entrepreneur, you're a salesperson for your ideas. However, introverts tend to be more thoughtful and some studies suggest more creative. Introverts are also better with the solitude and aloneness that often comes with being a solo entrepreneur. There are many, many nights where I've worked for hours and hours by myself on my business with nothing but some music or podcast to keep me company. As an introvert, I'm perfectly comfortable with this. There are other personality traits that are more important than introversion or extroversion when it comes to entrepreneurship which uh, we really don't think are all that important when it comes to entrepreneurship, at least early. So things like self-efficacy and openness to experience are more important. And these relate to our confidence and willingness to push forward with our ideas. If you're worried that your introversion may be hindering you, let me suggest a few things you can do to overcome that. First, as an introvert, you're probably pretty good at writing, maybe art, or photography. Promote yourself and your business using these tools. Second, try and meet with people one-on-one -on -one if you need to. Uh, and this will help you communicate your business idea or sell a product, uh, because as introverts, we do better in small groups as opposed to large ones. Third, uh, if you're really worried that your introversion is stifling your growth, consider taking on an extroverted partner. Let me end with this. I was at a conference a while back, and one of the speakers said that he didn't think we could teach entrepreneurship. You're either an entrepreneur or you're not. I totally disagree. I just think we're teaching it wrong if we think that. Imagine for a moment that you're, uh, that you're not a very creative or an industrious person. I come along and I help you start a little business and I help you make your first dollar. Hmm, you think. I felt pretty good. I had to be a little creative and a little bit industrious, but, you know, making a dollar felt good. You sit back and think, I'd like to make two dollars. Maybe if I'm a little more creative and a little more industrious... I can make $2. So, you get a little more creative, a little bit more industrious, and you make $2. Hmm, hey, that was great. I wonder what it would feel like to make $10. I bet you if I was a bit more industrious, a little more creative, I could do that. Sure enough, you give it a go, and hey, $10. You decide $100 sounds good, then $1,000, then $100,000. All of a sudden, this person who wasn't creative and not very industrious is one of the most creative and most industrious people you know. You see, your personality is not a hindrance. It's a tool that can be developed. Give the traits you want to develop positive feedback. In an entrepreneurship, that feedback is money. And you'll become the kind of person you need to be in order to be more successful. As a college professor, I think... The best thing we can do when it comes to teaching entrepreneurship 
is to teach people how to make their first dollar. Once you've done that, to some degree, the rest starts taking care of itself. So get moving. If you're an introvert, go make that first dollar. Don't worry about whether or not your introversion will stop you from being successful. It won't. The only thing that will stop you from failing is to try and try and keep trying until you make that first dollar. Now get moving. If you're interested in learning more about entrepreneurship or even getting coached, check out my course offerings at launchlabs.com. That's launchlabs with a Z.com.